Welcome to my 3D printer room, which seemed like the most logical place to share some logistical tips for setting up a makerspace with multiple printers. In my case, this room also has to double as my laundry room, so space was really tight, and I decided the best solution for my printers was to put them on a cart with wheels on the bottom so I can still get to my cabinets and other things like that, as well as the back side of the E3 Pro printers to change out the filament. Another logistical tip that will work in any space is naming your printers. So in my case, I have named each of my printers with a label maker after a famous woman from a STEM field throughout history. And so to be able to identify which printer is which, both in my STEM kits and RoboCloud, and to be able to then identify which plugin goes with which printer. You may have also noticed in my room I keep easy access to my filament and to all of the tools that I use for 3D printing. Now in a classroom environment, you probably want to put those in a drawer or somewhere safe where the students won't run off with your pliers or scraper or anything like that. Lastly, make sure you have good filament storage. So I'm in, in Colorado and we don't have much humidity, so I can leave my filament out because I use it a lot. But if you're in a more humid location, no matter how many printers you have or how quickly you go through your filament, you're going to want to store it in Ziploc bags with desiccant in it to keep your filament uh, having a longer shelf life. I hope these were a few logistical tips you can take and apply to your makerspace, science lab, or wherever your 3D printers live.